Hello, good evening everybody. I'm Shelly from Illinois Junior Advocates. I want to welcome you to our second show of this, uh, the month here, the last show of this summer. Oops, I want to cover the microphone. Uh, tonight our guests unfortunately couldn't make it. We were supposed to have Katie Thomas from uh, Chicago Junior Society, but a family situation arose at the last minute, so she couldn't make it. So I want to give my uh, best out there to Katie and her family. Uh, hopefully we're going to see her in in December, I think she's going to be back. So that's uh, unfortunate, but things do happen when, you know, family situations. So tonight you're stuck with me, okay? So I'm, as I say, Shelly from IGA. And this we do this show every fourth Friday. Uh, it's part of the LGDP, LGBT consortium. And since tonight, since we do have some extra time, since I'm here by myself, we can make some announcements and things like that that we don't have time usually to do. Uh, first of all, if this is the first time you're calling in, this is a live interactive call show, talk show, call show. So you can call me at the number 312-738-1060. I'm not sure exactly what we're going to be talking about tonight, but there's some things I want to throw out to everybody. Um, I do want to talk about that situation with that Senator guy, Craig. If you're, if you're gay and you have anything to say about that Senator guy, I would like to hear your opinion about that tonight. Okay, so let me, before we get started... Uh, let me just say, okay, since we do have time, since I'm from Illinois Gender Advocates, uh, you can reach us at IGA at 312-405489. You can also go to our website at www.genderadvocates.org. And if you want to, uh, say, volunteer or anything, there's a page on there. People have asked about this. You can go to the website, and there's a page where you can uh, fill in some stuff. It's a volunteer like uh, application form. You can fill out stuff about what you feel you might be able to do and help us out. We can always use some kind of help. If you're good at uh, raising money, that's one good thing we can uh, use. If you're good at fundraising, stuff like that, we could use your help with that. Okay? Even though I'm not supposed to say anything about money, we could use some money. Okay? <laughs> All right. I also want to make an announcement here uh, about Tyra, the Trans Youth Resource and Advocacy over at um, Clark Street. I want to thank Casey for being here in June anyway. I never had a chance to thank him. Okay, we oh, we got a call. Okay. Okay, fire away. We got somebody calling up? Yes. Hello? Yes, hi. Hi. Um, I am a lesbian. Yes. And I would like to say to all the lesbians out there mm -hmm. to um, be open-minded. Um, don't be scared. Um, you know, let yourself go and be yourself. Okay. No, that's good to know. That's good. I'm glad to hear somebody say that. Okay. Uh... Are you out? You can I ask you? Am I out? Yeah, yes, I am. Okay, you're out to everybody. Okay, so how does everybody feel about you being out? Like your family in that? Oh, my family doesn't have a problem with it at all. Okay. At first, they did, um, and after a while, um, they was fine with it. Okay, well, that's good. All right, well, that's good to know. All right, thank you for calling in. Okay. Okay, as I was saying about thank you. That's a good point to make. Let's say about uh, Tyra. That's a youth drop-in center for if you were transgendered youth and you're like from ages of 14 to 24. That wouldn't qualify for me. I'm a little bit over 24. I passed that mark a long time ago. <laughs> long time ago. But uh, for more information about Tyra, you can contact Casey at 935-3151 or kcs at howardbrown.org. I also want to thank a guest that came in last month. Her name was Lee Bohan, and she was talking about AIDS. Uh, I hope everybody gets the message that, it, you know, there's a lot of discrimination in life, but one thing that doesn't discriminate are STDs. Uh, they don't care if you're male, female, black, white, transgendered, um, whatever, okay? <laughs> uh, STDs can strike you any place, any time. So, if you're a young person out there, if you're considering, like, having sex and that, think about what you're doing. Uh, Abstinence, of course, is the best policy, but uh, if you're going to do something, you know, do it uh, wisely, use protection, be smart, okay? The other, the other best thing is monogamy, but uh, that doesn't always work because monogamy is a two-way street. You know, if you're monogamous and your partner isn't monogamous, that's not good, okay? I know I've, I've watched a program sometime called Cheaters, and they always show these people who are, like, really in love with somebody, and, and, then, and then the people that are watching them to see, you know, see their partners... If the person that's cheating always calls up their partner and says, Oh, I love you, dear. You're the, you're the one and only one for me and every blah, blah, blah. Then they, then they hang up the phone and go and they cheat with somebody. So if you're monogamous, uh, 
it doesn't really help if your partner isn't. Okay, remember that because the life you save may be your own. Okay, and AIDS, um, like Lee was trying to uh, to emphasize, is is not something that um, you know to toy with or to trifle with. Despite the what the media may may promote that it's gee, there's drugs for this. You know, yeah, you could die from the drugs too. Okay, so whatever you're gonna do, make sure you're uh, you're smart about what you're doing because it, you know can have uh, if it doesn't kill you, it can have ramica ramifications for the rest of your life. All right, especially if you're uh, you know I say a young person. Okay, so keep that in mind. That's my point for tonight. <laughs> okay, so you can call me Shelly here at three one two seven three eight one zero six zero zero. Okay, uh, there's a couple other things I want to mention. Uh, and next month, we will be here at the 28th of the month. Okay, I, th I believe in October we'll be here for uh, October 26th for our show. Katie Thomas is supposed to come back in December, so we, we want to wish her, you know, a speedy uh, coming back. We're also going to have somebody new on this program that just joined Illinois Gender Advocates. Uh, she's getting kind of groomed. But uh, her name is Joni, and hopefully she'll be back, or she'll be on, rather, uh, sometime either October or November. And uh, Joni is an attorney, so if I'm on with her and somebody calls up and tries to befuddle me with some, with some legal questions, okay, then you can refer them over to Joni. Okay, hi, Lee. Oh. Hi. Well, I just want to say thank you for mentioning us and my organization, Beehive, and okay. me personally on the air. And you are so right that this particular piano can fall on anybody's mm -hmm. head. And regarding the, the senator guy, Senator Craig, mm -hmm. anybody who protests so much and is so <laughs> vehemently yeah. anti-gay, yeah. I got real questions about what this guy is up to. And this guy goes for all these guys that do that. Mm -hmm. Any guy you see who's so much of a homophobe in his public life, you got to wonder what he's doing behind closed doors, mm -hmm. including in the men's room. That, that's a good question. <laughs> that's a good question. Uh, you know, thanks for calling, Lee. I mean, we really appreciate that. Uh, and I'm glad Okay, you thank you. Okay, thanks. I'll talk to you later. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's one of the questions I was wondering about myself. I mean, that we've seen this a, a couple times now, or several times in the Republican Party, where somebody is that vehemently anti-gay, yet all of a sudden we find out they have a history of soliciting sex from like young boys on the internet or other things like that. So what what does that tell you about people like that? Are, are they okay? We have a call. Are they are they fighting against themselves? You know, are they are they in the closet and? And they have the self hatred, so they project it on the other people. I don't know. Okay, caller. Yes. Hello. Hello. Yes. Yes. I wanted to know what example are you setting for young children? What that are turning? You know, if they're in a point in life where they don't know why you, you know, against it. I mean, why? Why are you doing that? Oh, can you turn on your TV a little bit? It is down. Okay. Hello. Okay. Well. Okay. Thanks for calling. Uh. Oh uh, well. What kind of image am I setting? What kind of image? Well, the image for myself, as I've mentioned before, I'm trying to be myself. I think everybody who is transgender is just trying to be themselves. Um, as far as children go, I mean, people like to use that as an excuse to say, well, you might damage a child, therefore you can't be yourself, okay? Well, if we weren't our being ourselves, we'd be damaging ourselves too, okay? So you have to be who you are. And nobody that I know. Uh, is flaunting this in front of children and pointing a finger at them and saying that you have to be this way and you have to accept me just like I am and if you don't, you know, blah blah blah, whatever. Uh, people are people and they're going to be whoever they are, you know, whether children exist or not on this planet or not. I mean, the fact that somebody's always using children as an excuse that we shouldn't be who we are, I, you know, I take offense to that. That's not true. We are who we are and there's a lot of people out there who are heterosexual and straight who do a lot of damage to children too without being gay or lesbian or bisexual or transgender. A lot of people have abused children who are heterosexual, who are straight. A lot of children uh, are in hospitals because of their straight parents smashing their face in or sticking their face in hot water or things like that. So, you know, the point is what kind of person are you? You know, whether you're uh, straight, bi, trans or lesbian. If you're a good person, you're a good person, and a child will know that, okay? So that's my answer to that.